This is an exciting time for tech companies and transportation. When big systems integrators and smaller tech suppliers get together, good things can happen. One example is signaling improvements. Companies like Piper tend to excel at rapid manufacturing and adapting to changing requirements. But when you team us up with the train control suppliers that have the technical, logistical, and the safety expertise working on large projects, it's a perfect match. When you do business with the MTA, your real customers are the riders hopping on and off subways and buses as they go about their day. Whenever we install new systems, we have to remember that New Yorkers are also making an investment in time that goes way beyond the price of a MetroCard swipe. And that's why we need more than smart technology. We need smart deployments that minimize inconvenience for riders and increases their confidence in mass transit. In our design meetings with NYCT engineers, we're constantly looking for ways to reduce our footprint and the need for track time that interrupts service. In Piper's current project on the 7 line, with our partner Talus, we're setting new expectations for speed of installation. We're focusing on finishing the job and putting trains back into service. Piper's ultra-wideband positioning system is like a blanket of coverage over the subway lines. We virtually surround the tracks with smart sensors that pinpoint train location down to just a few inches. This precision helps us accelerate the new signaling upgrades by feeding critical data into the CBTC systems so the trains can run closer together. It also helps us improve track worker safety and monitor the health of wayside equipment. Here's how it works. UWB radios that we place in the bonnets of trains are called tags, and they communicate with devices installed at convenient locations on the wayside called anchors. For the current flushing project, survey markers were the perfect choice. They're easily accessible, and because they're not in the track bed, they can be installed and maintained without the costly and disruptive general orders that interrupt service. As the train moves along the track, the anchors and the tags use a method called time of flight to measure exact distances between them. 10 times each second, an onboard computer compares these collected distances with a database of the wayside radios and gives the CBTC controller an exact location along the center line of the track. This is a major step forward for train control systems in their evolution from the track bed to fully train-centric systems that require no wayside equipment. Piper's latest technology, called TrackSight, uses positional imaging to determine train location and feed the data to the onboard CBTC system. The result is improved headways that accommodate more riders, helping New Yorkers get to work on time and home again safely every day.